Well, good morning, everyone. I am back. And today, oh, I want to thank you for tuning in to Cooking with the Woodards. Okay? And today, we're going to make a whipped cream pound cake. Yes, a whipped cream pound cake. And let me tell you something. It's so good. It's so, so, so moist. You're going to love it. You have to try it. Okay? You have to try it. And I want you to hit subscribe, like. Okay? Because I really want y'all to tell me if you like this, when you try it, come back. You know, drop me something. Let me know. Comments. Let me know how you feel about it. Let me know that you tried it because I like to know when people try things. I hear a lot of people say, okay, I'm going to do that. But then you never come back and say, okay, this is something that I'm going to add on my menu. All right. I'm going to make two videos today. Okay. We're going to do this here pound cake, but I want to show you everything that going into this here pound cake. So let's go. Okay. So this is everything that I have that's going into this hip pound cake. We're going to do six eggs. You go, I'm going to do two eggs at a time. Okay? Two eggs at a time. I'm going to beat, beat up two eggs at a time. Don't put all these eggs in there at one time now because this cake is not going to turn out good. You're going to do your I'm going to put a little cinnamon in it. If you don't want no cinnamon, you don't want no allspice, and you don't want no nutmeg, don't use it. Don't use it. Okay, I'm just telling you, don't use it. All right, but this is, this is to give it another, take it to another level and give it a kick. Okay, because it tastes good. You don't put a whole lot in there. I'm going to show you how much you're going to put in there. I'm going to have all the ingredients on the front of the video what you're going to use, okay? Now we got us a little all spice, all right? Cinnamon, nutmeg. We have lemon extract, and I have vanilla extract. Now you can do this here, cake without the vanilla extract. You can just use the lemon extract if you just want to use that by itself. But I just want to put a little bit more kick to it. Okay. We're going to use us three sticks of butter. At room temperature. Make sure it's soft. Okay. Make sure it's soft at room temperature. I've been had this here sitting out. So it's soft. Okay. So we're going to use us three sticks of butter at room temperature. The eggs are going to be at room temperature temperature. Do not use cold eggs. Do not use cold butter. All right. And this is our main ingredients. Okay. Heavy whipping cream. This is our main ingredients. Let this here be at room temperature. Sit it out. Let it be at room temperature. Okay. We're going to take us three cups of sugar. All right. These three cups of sugar is going to go in one at a time. Whenever you make a pound cake, do it one at a time. Put it in the thing, mix it up. Put another cup in, mix it up. Put another cup in, mix it up, okay? Flour, three cups of flour. One at a time, okay? Not just put the flour in, no. Mix it up in there, one at a time. In between this flour, you can take and do your eggs. You can do one cup of flour, mix it up. Two eggs, mix it up. One cup of flour, mix it up. Two eggs, mix it up. You can do it that way because that's how I do it, okay? That's the way I do it so I can make sure that it's incorporated in there real good and my cake is going to turn out good, 
all right? Now, when you get ready, whenever you cook a pound cake, okay, and we got this here pound cake pan, okay? This pound cake pan, you can spray it with that uh, baking spray, okay? Spray it real good with your baking spray, okay? Oh, what I was getting ready to tell you. Remember, when you get ready to cook your pound cake, never put a pound cake in a hot oven. All right? Never do it. Always stick it in a cold oven. Then turn your temperature on to 350. That's what makes your cake turn out good. Never pre pre never preheat that oven at all. Always put your pound cake in a cold oven, then turn it on to 350. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and start mixing up. Okay, so what we have here, we have the sticks of butter. Okay, we're gonna go ahead on, we're gonna put our butter in. Okay here. Okay. So, you're going to whip your butter up. And one thing about a cake, don't ever overbeat the cake. Okay? You overbeat the cake, you mess it up. Okay, we got that like that. Now, three cups of sugar. One cup at a time, remember? One cup of sugar at a time. Okay, this is one cup. Heat that up. Okay. Two cups. Okay, scrape your sides, don't forget to scrape your sides, okay, so get you something that's going to scrape your sides. If you're hanging with me, and I'm in the kitchen, I'm going to tell you just like to see. you're going to be investing in a lot of stuff. You know, you can go to Dollar Tree and get most of your stuff that you need, it's cheap. So you don't go spend a whole lot of money. Don't go spend a whole lot of money on something you don't need. That's three cups of sugar. Okay, so while we had that like that. Now, the heavy whipping cream. You need just one cup of heavy whipping cream, okay? One cup only. So take your one cup. Put it on in there and mix it on up. So, so we'll, while we had that like that, let's go ahead on do our seasons. Let's go ahead on do our spices and stuff. Okay, we're gonna use a fourth of a teaspoon of all spice. One fourth, okay? We're only gonna use a half of a teaspoon of cinnamon, okay? Just a half of a teaspoon, that's it. Then we're just gonna use a half of a teaspoon of nutmeg. So we don't want to overpower anything. We just wanna make sure we got a little taste that's gonna take this here to another level and People are going to be tasting it. It's just going to go, mmm, mmm, okay. That tastes good. Because you done took and put a little bit more or something in there. Okay, we're going to mix this here on up in there. Okay, we got that like that. Go in there and scrape the sides of it. Scrape it on down. So we get everything on scraped on down. Okay. Then after that, we're going to go in now 
we're going to use us a teaspoon a teaspoon of lemon extract one teaspoon okay because this is what's going to give that that flavor one teaspoon of lemon extract then we're going to use us a half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract okay just a half of a teaspoon all right now we're gonna go in now we're gonna mix that up okay we got that together okay go in there scrape your sides down again all right now go in now got your two eggs two eggs one two mix that up all right have that together okay now we're gonna do us one cup of flour okay so go in now with one cup of flour usually i would sift this in now but i'm not gonna do that today so we're just gonna do us one cup of flour All right, let me scrape this down in now. Do us two eggs. Right, mix that up. Okay, scrape. Do us one cup of flour. Scrape. Two eggs. Mix. Okay. Now this is my last cup of flour. Remember three cups of flour. And this is gonna be my last cup of flour. Okay. So I got to make sure that I have it right. Okay, this is my last cup of flour right here. Then we're gonna mix that on up here. Make sure it's mixed up really good. Okay. All right, got that done right there. Now, we're gonna spray the pan, okay? And when you spray your pan, spray your pan good. Shake this hair up, spray that pan good. 
because this is gonna rise up. You want your pan to be sprayed good so it don't stick. All right, and this is uh, that Pam pick bacon and it has flour and everything already in there, okay? So you don't have to go back and be worrying about all that. All right, so then when you take this here, put this here in the pan. Okay, put it on in the pan. Then we're gonna go back in with it. See, see how I'm doing it? I'm not going to the bottom. I'm not going on the sides, but I'm coming back in and I'm doing it just like this here. Okay, go back in now. Smooth it on out really good. All around in there, really good. And see that makes it even. See that? Makes it even. See how I'm doing it? I'm not touching the sides. I'm not going all the way to the bottom. I'm just on the top. Okay? And so that's how you do it. So what I'm going to do, this is going to go in a cold oven. All right? So I'm putting it in a cold oven on 350 and I'm gonna let it bake. It might stay in there for an hour and 20 minutes. I don't know yet. I'm gonna take a toothpick and I'm gonna go down up in there and then I'll find out how long it's going to be in there and I'll let you know. Okay, now I'm back. Now we're going to make this glaze to go on here. We're gonna use some half and half, okay? We're gonna use some vanilla extract. We're gonna use some lemon extract, all right? And I have some powdered sugar, all right? Now we're gonna use two cups of powdered sugar. I may not use all this here, okay? But I want to make sure I have enough because you know when you take and you put everything down on that, how it uh, turns out. You know, when you take and put all your liquids and everything in there, it turns out. It just go together and you don't have that much. Okay, we're gonna use us a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're gonna use us a teaspoon of lemon extract. Mm. Okay, so much for that. Teaspoon of lemon extract, okay. okay. Got that going here. Okay. Okay, I made sure all the lumps are out of here and I stirred it and stirred it and stirred it till all the lumps are gone. Now, you're going to take this here, put this here all on your cake. Make sure your cake is covered up good with it. Okay, so when they bite into it, they get that icing all on there. And you let your cake cool before you put the icing on there. Because all, all it's going to do is going to melt that icing. And you don't want that to happen. Okay, so always let your cake cool some before you put that icing on there. Don't go right away and put that icing all on there because that's not how it works. All right. Okay, we're going to cut us a slice right here. See what we have. Mmm, it's cutting good. Mmm, mmm. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. That tastes good. Okay, let me taste it. Let's see what we have. Let's see, just look at it. It turned out excellent. Excellent. Mm. 
Oh my God. This is so, 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 so good. All I want you to do, hit subscribe, hit like, leave comments and everything. This is it. This is how it turned out. Okay? Hit subscribe, hit like, leave your comments below. Tell me when you try it and tell me what you think of it because this is a very, very moist cake. Very moist cake. Okay? And all I want to do is tell you, give someone a big hug. Tell them you love them. And bon appetit, baby. <laughs>